Welcome back everybody. In this video, I'm going to be doing a rundown of the top five free software for developing Game Boy games. As you can see, we're starting off here with the engine. So if you know me, I use GB Studio. That's mainly because it's a drag and drop based game engine. I don't consider myself a programmer. So the fact that this has everything built in and like it's quite obvious to figure out. And if you can't figure it out, I have obviously tutorials on my channel. But yeah, this is how I create my Game Boy games. But also, if you were thinking of making something just code, I would uh, look at GBDK, which I believe stands for the Game Boy Development Kit. As this is an alternative to GB Studio that you might like, but for beginners, I definitely recommend GB Studio. Although GB Studio is free, I definitely recommend when you download it on itch.io, donating some money just so that we can support the developers of these. And I recommend supporting the developers of all these softwares. I think that most of them are open source, meaning you can you know, freely change and update anything. I definitely stand behind software like that. It makes it really easy to trust and it means it's normally community led as well, where you have a say. So moving on to graphics, if you know me, I use GIMP. I use GIMP mainly because it's free and also because it's quite similar to Photoshop. I have heard people say that it's completely different to Photoshop, but um, I guess that's just opinion. I found it to be very simple and it does exactly what I needed to do. And if you don't like GIMP, there's also paint.net, which uh, is also free. I remember using this for a long, long time. This one may be more like Photoshop. Uh, I'm only talking about Photoshop because a lot of people obviously used it in school and so that's what they're most familiar with. This third graphics software I'm showing you here is called Tiled. It works almost exclusively in tiles and if you didn't know the Game Boy works in 8x8 pixels and that's why it's important. That's why tiles are important. If we were to use a sprite which is a paid program it would be able to do what GIMP and Paint do and what Tile does all in one program. But basically my workflow is export a tile set from GIMP and then ex import it into Tiled, which then like this image shows here has a tile grid and you can, can create tiled backgrounds, which is basically how you optimize your Game Boy games is by making sure that you are using repeating tiles rather than every single tile being unique. So definitely look into this. I'll now be moving on to music. So although GB Studio Free now has a built-in music tracker, you might also want to consider working outside of GB Studio. I use OpenMPT here. You can also use something like Milky Tracker. These are both free softwares that let you create mod files, which is what the Game Boy um, can use. Um, and the reason why you might want to work outside of GB Studio is because you can actually copy and paste MIDI information into the tracker. You can open up a MIDI file and then copy over those notes basically into the mod file that you're using. It can be quite complicated. So if you're a beginner, I definitely recommend sticking with GB Studio, but these are definitely options that you could take. So going beyond actual development, I obviously also make videos about my games and you might want to too. So to record my screen, I use OBS Studio, which is free. And I think, for example, Streamlabs is based on OBS. And this is obviously just like the simple original version that's open source. It's quite simple to understand. You might have to, you know, look at a tutorial to get through some of the settings if it's not working exactly how you expected. But it does the job perfectly. It's completely free. Obviously, you can support them if you want to. And yeah, this is how I record my videos. And beyond that, video editing, I use DaVinci Resolve. So you can see here there is a free version and then there is a paid version. I'm obviously using the free version. I don't think I need the paid version. Um, if you don't have a great computer, my laptop isn't too great, but it does run this. It basically can't have anything else open at the same time though. It can really slow down. But yeah, it's really powerful. It lets you do a lot of what you'd expect with video editing. The main thing for me was editing the volumes and the sound of the, of the video. I was originally my first ever couple of videos using, I think it's called Windows Movie Maker or something like that, or edit it, video editor or something, whatever comes on Windows 10. Um, and it doesn't let you edit the volumes of your tracks, which is obviously a huge downside. But with DaVinci Resolve, you obviously can. You can also color grade it, as you can see here. There's also other special things that I haven't really got around to, um, but it, it is very easy to use. And this is how I edit my videos. So finally, we have our honorable mentions, and that would be Discord and Reddit. So 
Obviously Discord technically has its own app, Reddit is a website, but I definitely recommend if you're going to be making Game Boy games to join a community of people who are doing the same thing. There's, it can be really helpful to, you know, basically get help and also help other people. Helping other people solidifies your knowledge in your head. And obviously there's a Discord channel for GB Studio and for GBDK. Yeah, I hope this video was useful for anyone thinking about making their own Game Boy games. Please remember to support the creators of these open source projects. I know that being a developer on these kind of things can be very demoralizing. The fact that everybody's constantly demanding new features. So I definitely recommend, you know, sending some love to these developers as they keep the software free. It's amazing. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll put my patrons up on the screen right now. Thank you very much to you guys for supporting me. Remember to like the video if you liked the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. Let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.